High school football from across the desert southwest is here. Varsity Blitz starts right now. Good evening to week eight of the Varsity Blitz. I'm Scott Gross, joined alongside Brandon Mejia. Yeah, great to be with you all tonight, especially. I mean, we begin with a Yuma Crosstown rivalry as the Gila Ridge Hawks still in search of their first win of the season and the first career varsity win for head coach Jessica Slaughter. Invaded Doan Field in North Yuma really to take on the criminals. So yeah. that'll be a good one. <laughs> and the Crims led by second season head coach Bo Seibel also looking for win number one on the season. The Crims 0-3 on the season but have played in some pretty close games. Yuma hasn't beaten Gila Ridge since 2016. Would they break that losing streak tonight? Let's go to Doan Field, home of the Yuma Criminals where the Crims are pumped up early getting ready to face head coach Jessica Slaughter and the Gila Ridge Hawks coming in 0-4. Opening drive, Gila Ridge on the move. Third and three from the Yuma 8-yard line and Crim's defensive end, Genoa Madel is there for the sack. Hawks would miss a field goal. We're tied at zero. Crim's first possession, sophomore quarterback Reggie Antone can't handle the snap. Crim's unable to move the ball and it leads to this punt. On the punt, sophomore Jacob Arceres will field it on his own 40-yard line, makes a few moves and he whoop! right there one more there he's gonna wave bye bye right there and he is loose he is gone for a 65 yard touchdown run Gila Ridge on the board now after a crims interception Gila Ridge inside the 10 again this time sophomore Leonardo Valencia rolls to his left and finds senior Brock Rogers in the center of the end zone Hawks make the extra point they're up 14 nothing now at the start of the second quarter it's Gila Ridge again this time Valencia finds Levi Davenport over the middle and watch this Whoop, he gone, he gone, 65, he is loose. This one was all Gila Ridge. It says 10-10 there. Actually, the score was 41-7 heading into the fourth. To Ricky Gwynn Stadium on senior night for the Lady Shamrocks as uh, the future Lady Shamrocks showing some support as well for tonight's matchup. YC up 7-0, Stallworth on this drive, completes it to Devin Black who gets the chains moving. Their offense would be on a roll. Next play, Stallworth with the screen pass to senior Austin Rush. Cuts across the field, finds some open real estate, and he's going to take that one all the way to the house. A Shamrock touchdown, good for six. 14-0, Chino Valley trying to get something on the board, but they can't hang on to the football here. That ball is out. YC, they have a hard time getting their hands on the football. The ball actually ends up getting out of bounds. Chino would keep possession, but the defense stays hungry for more. Landon, Yerjijo, Gets to the quarterback on the next play. Yes, hungry indeed. Chino would be forced to punt. Shamrock's now on offense, and they capitalize. Junior Lake Stal Luke Stallworth with the completion to keep them rolling. Next play, Stallworth going to connect with Dion Quintana. And he's going to spin around and say, I'm not done yet. First down and some. Gets pushed out of bounds on that play. Stallworth, he's spreading the wealth tonight. This time, it's Jared Marquez, the big man. Yep, and he says, I'm not going to get stopped either. He's taking that one in good for six. 21 now on the board. Following an interception, YC would get the ball back and march down the field to this play right here where he finds Justin Erith in the end zone. 21 nothing at that point. They run away with this one, 63 to nothing. That is something else. That yeah. is yeah. <laughs> something Well, else. thank you, Brandon. Uh, Yuma Catholic once again rolling. Uh, we now turn our attention to our third member of the Varsity Blitz team. Once again, Luis Lopez joins us from the sidelines to share some of the headlines. Yes, welcome back to the studio, Luis. We had you out there at <laughs> Antelope for the Rams game against San Pisquel last night. This game has a bit of a history behind it, though. Am I right? Brandon, Scott, thanks for having me back. Always fun to be in studio with you guys. And yeah, there is a bit of history behind this matchup. It was a rivalry game that was brought back just two years ago. So let's head out to Welton now and see what it's all about. Over to Buckeye Field where the Antelope Rams took on the San Pasqual Warriors this game with a bit more significance, however, as these two teams battled it out for the Telegraph Pass Cup. To the first quarter now, 11.51 left on the clock. Rams going to hand it off to the big man, Jose Sokol, who takes it 13 yards. Yes, sir. Takes it 13 yards upfield for the first down. Next play now, Rams get it over to Ivan Lopez. Another 10 yards and another first down. Later that drive, Antelope quarterback Jonathan Whitley is going to roll out. Fire it to Lopez, who gets past the DB to the sideline, and that is a touchdown. Rams strike first. They go up 7-0 on the Warriors. Next drive for San Pasquale now. Warrior quarterback Damian Cota is going to drop back and get the ball over to Elias Espinoza, who is met immediately by the defense. No gain. Warriors would eventually punt. Rams, they are going to get back with the ball. Whitley. He is going to line up in the shotgun here. He's going to take the snap, rolls outside of the pocket to the sideline. But wait a second. He throws it back of the end zone. 
Lopez there, he hauls it in. That's his second touchdown of the day. And hey, with a last name like that, he was bound for success. Rams take this one easily. They take home the Telegraph Fast Cup by beating the Warriors 48-13. Luis, good stuff <laughs> as always, my friend. And well, that's only half of the highlights we have for week eight. So we're going to keep it right here because we're taking you out to the valley right after this. You're watching Varsity Blitz on 13 on your side. Go Visit Paradise Casino for the extended Rake in the Dough Cash and Rewards Play Giveaway. Join us on Sundays, October 10th through the 31st from 5 to 9 p.m. to rake in your share of over $66,000 in cash and rewards play. So much, so close. Paradise Casino. Subway has so much new, I couldn't fit it all in the last ad. Yep, so let me finish this. There's new hickory smoked bacon, fresh mozzarella, smashed avocado. You know what? There's a lot. But it all makes a better footlong. Can I get a word in? Sure. Take the tagline. Because you, you got to refresh to be fresh. It's to eat fresh, refresh the Subway. And they're refreshing everything from how they make it to how they bake it to how they bring it to you. This new Turkey Cali Fresh is incredible. Do you even eat bread? Steph, it's a commercial. Back again, bigger and better. The Monster Truck Nitro Tour. Get more info and advance tickets only at monstertrucktour.com or get them at the gate. Such as services. This Friday night at 1.30 and 7.30 p.m. this Saturday, Yuma County Fairgrounds. Every picture has a story. At Doctors Without Borders, it's our mission to change those stories. Because thousands of children are still dying of measles. We're there with preventative medical care. Because every day, hundreds of women die from causes related to pregnancy and childbirth. We're there to assist hundreds of thousands. Because in some countries, there are only one or two mental health professionals. We're there to provide support, counseling, and clinical care. It's your care and compassion that make this happen. Picture the impact we can have together. It's so vitally important that we have the Leukemia Lymphoma Society on our side be the front runner in the newest, most up-to-date technologies for fighting cancer. To give or get help, visit LLS.org. Quichon Casino Resort and Paradise Casino are giving you more ways to win. Sign up today and you could win up to $1,000. One club, two properties, more ways to redeem at Quichon Casino Resort and Paradise Casino. You're watching Varsity Blitz. The best highlights, the best plays, continuing right now. You're watching the Varsity Blitz on 13 on Welcome back. Playoff hopes begin to come to fruition for a few of our area programs while the fight for the Imperial Valley crown reaches its second round. Yeah, two of the hottest teams in the Imperial Valley in the Imperial Tigers who have won three games in a row and the Brawley Wildcats who have amassed a five game winning streak of their own met at Warren Field tonight. Over the years, this game would have a huge say in determining the IVL champion, but the Wildcats have owned this series as of late, not losing to the Tigers since 2015. Both the Tigers and the Wildcats would renew their annual cat fight up at Warren Field. Imperial with the opening possession. CJ Tiernan, the quarterback, well, he's going to take a design draw right here, zips up the gut before making his cut outside and finally getting knocked out of bounds inside the Brawley 10 yard line. That 33 yard run play puts the Tigers in business. Two plays later, Jeremiah Naylor gets the call as he cuts to the outside, fends off the Wildcat defenders and fights his way into the end zone. Tigers draw first blood, but they would miss the extra point. On the ensuing kickoff, the Cats kick returners had a hard time tracking the ball in the air. The mishandling of the rock leads to an instant cat pile, and moments later, the officials confirm that it's the Tigers' ball, but the momentum would shift quickly. On the very next play, Reese Vindiola goes for the jugular, but this would be a touchdown pass picked off in the end zone by Daniel Camillo. The tide now turning Brawley's way. We fast forward to the second quarter. Cats knocking on the door. Isaiah Young takes the rock into the end zone from two yards out. The Cats take the 7-6 lead. The cat fight would ensue, but Brawley would eventually pull away, getting the 27-15 victory. The Wildcats have won six in a row and have an inside track for an 
IVL title. Welcome back, Brandon. Thanks to Cal Jones Field now with the Spartan Band getting the fans revved up against Del Valle, a team from Texas. Yes, surly first quarter, the Spartans. Charlie Sullivan with the carry, and he goes no, nowhere. Moments later, Damian Rodriguez with the fake, but his pass is knocked down at the line of scrimmage. Central off to a slow start. Now the Conquistadores from El Paso, Texas with the ball, and the snap gets away from junior quarterback Jesse Ramos. He rolls right, though. Fires on the run to Damian Diaz Del Valle on the board first. Question is, could Central answer? They would in the second quarter. Damian Rodriguez slings over the middle to Sergio Garcia for a big chunk of yards. Spartans on the move. Yes, they're liking a lot of that. Moments later, Rodriguez looks left, but throws right and finds Charlie Sullivan for the score. Central wins at home tonight, Scott. 36-28 Central starting to heat up as the season near ends. We take you now to a windy Eagle field for highlights as the John Haynes led Southwest Eagles try to bounce back from a loss taken on Fernando Solano and the Bulldogs. The Eagles knocking on the door on their first drive, but whoop, the snap sails over Logan Younger's head. He does recover it, but it does hold on. A flag comes on and they hit Calexico with a personal foul for jumping on the quarterback while he's on the ground. First and goal for the Eagles. Very next play, they capitalize. Youngers rolls out, finds Nate Smith Jr. for six. Southwest strikes first, extra point good. We're up seven, nothing. Eagles. After Calexico stalled on their next drive, the Eagles on the move and it's Youngers again rolling out to his right, finding the big guy, Derek Mankin. Grabs it, slips two defenders, and then trucks over another and picks up the first down. Flexes on everyone. But the Eagles would go on to punt and the dogs making up ground on the ground. Adam Zazueta with the keeper catches the corner and off he goes across Southwest 40 yard line before being chased out. The dogs in business and it leads to this. David Esker gets pressure in his face, launches it up and it's a wobbly pass, but that's my boy Andres Ramirez grabs it out of the air. 3-2-1 blast off into the end zone for a touchdown. Calexico knots it up at seven after the extra point, and they would go on to win by a score of 25 to 15. So let's see all the scores that we do have. Brawley takes the win tonight. Central gets the win tonight. Southwest taking the loss over Calexico. Kilo Ridge Yuma not finished quite yet. Let's get to the next screen so we can fill you in and get to those top plays. If we can't, let's get those top plays rolling. Here we go. There we are, and well, there's Marina, and well, we're Well, I guess I don't want to see him everyone. That's all okay. right. <laughs> Antelope, 48. Yuma Catholic with the blowout, Kofa taking the loss, Holtville taking the loss, and uh, there's a game on Saturday, actually, uh, that you can catch as well. Let's get those top plays up. Folks, this is my final night here on 13. It has been a pleasure. <clears throat> it has been a ride. Roll tape. There we go. These are the uh, today's best, and uh, I want to thank Omar and everybody who put all this together, but more importantly, uh, uh, Brandon, thank you so much for everything. It's very rare that you find somebody that you have a connection with and, and a rapport with, and, and we have had that with you. You will be sorely missed. I'm and I know, I know I will miss you very much I'm as well. I'm going to miss you too, my friend. This has been one heck of a ride, guys. Thanks for watching.